CEO of Redox. Um, those of you who were here last year may know that uh, Redox won traction on the wider facing part of traction. They are from Madison, Wisconsin. They may have had some connections to one of those kind of, uh, some <laughs> alumni from one of those companies that we just uh, saw, on the, saw on the slide there. Um, and what they've been doing is uh, basically creating an API marketplace on top of uh, many of those big companies that other people plug in. So one place that you can plug your uh, your app, your, your, your tool, your service into uh, an EMR. So at WinnerTech, um, back in January, I had Nico on because they one track, one traction, all that great, we should show them. And we showed them uh, working with Gal Surgical to, uh, to, to plug in, I think it was still an epic uh, in sort of Hammerstein, New Jersey, I think that was right. Um, but now he's gonna demonstrate the more elusive side of that whole integration equation, and they're gonna show us how they can push a standardized message to Redox and make it happen in any EHR. So you have to already take it away, please. Yeah, thanks a lot. So at Redox, it's our vision to build an API layer that an application can plug into once and communicate with any EHR used at any health system that they're working with. So I've showed in the past how easy it is for an application developer to set up their integration with Redox. We have a number of different applications that are using the data that's in EHRs to create information from, uh, from it and make the workflows more uh, <coughs> slicker for doctors, engage patients. There's uh, hundreds of applications that are currently integrating on top of Redox. But what I want to show you today is the other side of that, where how, how we're actually interacting with the EHRs. So <clears throat> that being said, I have um, our fine friends at Athena, Dr. Chrono and Allscripts gave us demo versions of their EHRs to use to display this. So the way that we interact with EHRs through Redox is through a unified data model. So we have, sorry to get a little technical here, we have data that, uh, data models, the way we represent patients that remains consistent whether you're talking about Epic or Allscripts or Athena or Cerner or Dr. Chrono. This is what our data model looks like. So this is a patient here, and then as a human, we can read this. Let's uh, let's pick a patient. Let's uh, let's do let's do Bolty Boy. We'll we'll add him into <laughs> the chart here. Um, so I'm going to take this JSON payload. So this is kind of like for a developer. It's kind of like as easy as sending an email for those of us non-developers. They know how to work with this stuff. This is stuff that typically happens behind the scenes between their application, Redox, and the EHR. So developers will send this JSON payload to Redox. I'm gonna just use our development tools to do that now. So JSON message is coming into Redox. We're going to actually send that message off to the EHR world now. I'm gonna log in to make that happen. What I love about live demos is you always get locked out at some point. Yeah, I remember that. Let's get back in there. Oops. Okay. We're gonna send that off. Boom. So what we just did was we sent this um, multi boy patient into those three EHRs, um, into all scripts, Dr. Chrono and Athena. Um, Redox has the ability so you can see what that message looked like, the response that you're getting. Let's go into the EHRs and see if we can find them in here now. So let's look up multi boy. Nice. So we've just created this multi boy patient within Athena. Let's see if we can show it here as well. There he is. He's an eight year old boy, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so we, we've got it here. And let's see if we can do three for three. Find patient. Nice. Okay. So we have our Bolty Boy patient here in all scripts as well. So what Redox does is allows developers to bi-directionally communicate with EHRs across any EHR through a single API. What I'm excited to announce here today is that these demo environments through Redox are now available to developers who are creating applications on top of Redox. So come talk to us if you're wanting to actually create an application and demo it with a number of different EHR environments. Thank you.